Lewis structures are representation of molecules that form covalent bonds. You can see here what Lewis structures are trying to show us is how the atoms are bonded. So it wants to know, we're trying to show, are there single bonds or double bonds? How many non-bonding electrons? Now we can go back to the patterns we see in the periodic table to help us begin to understand how many bonds and non-bonding electrons each element would have. But then there's also a general rule list or a general uh, guide that you can follow to help you draw a Lewis structure. So that's what we're going to work on here. Now a Lewis structure might look, uh, or what it would look like if I was drawing the Lewis structure for water. So this is what we're talking about, how we're going to learn how we'd know it would look like this. This is the Lewis structure for water. Now Lewis structures don't have to show shape. They can be drawn in 90 degree angles. We'll learn about shape just in a little while in, in a future lesson. So Lewis structures show the types of bonds, like in this case water has a two single bonds, and the number of lone pairs, like in this case water, the oxygen has two lone pairs, or remember lone pairs are also called non-bonding pairs. So in this lesson I want to go through several examples of how we would begin to draw Lewis structures. So right here are just some general rules. So these just kind of apply to, think, to um, all of our Lewis structures. One thing is we're only using valence electrons. Okay, so uh, every atom, like oxygen has eight valence electrons, I mean, sorry, eight total electrons, um, but it has only six valence electrons. So when I'm thinking about oxygen, I will be thinking not about its total electrons, but its valence electrons. The other thing we're going to work on is that every main group element, and for this course that's what we're working with, we're going to give eight electrons, the octet. Keep in mind that hydrogen is a very important exception and that hydrogen can only have a single bond. Oh, and I was going to write it there, but look at my rule three, or my, yeah, my general rule. Every hydrogen can only have two electrons. So remember from the first lesson, a two electrons represents a single covalent bond. So always hydrogen only has a single bond, no non-bonding electrons for hydrogen. Okay? So keep that in mind that it's actually a very, this is a very helpful rule. So let's investigate the rules that, we're, uh, that we can follow, or the guide that we can follow to draw Lewis structures. So on the left-hand side of this page, I have the guide. So in this course, you'll be given um, either just a formula, or sometimes it has what we call a skeletal structure. So we're going to start with something um, relatively simple. All right, so let's start with CH4. So let's go to the house. So the first thing says add up all the valence electrons. To do this you're going to need a periodic table because remember you're going to have to look at the group number to figure out the valence electrons. So in this formula I have one carbon. Carbon is in group 4A so it has four valence electrons. Then I have a hydrogen Hydrogen is in group 1A, so it has one valence electron. But I look here and I have four of them, so I have to multiply this number by four because I have to count the valence electron for all of them. So that gives a total of four uh, electrons for the hydrogen. And we want the total, so now I will take these two together and I would say four plus these four. So for step one, my valence electrons are eight. Now, this number can be eight, but it could be all the way up to like 32, 36. It, it will just depend on which elements and how many you have. So this particular example has eight. 
This number right here, this eight, is a really important number. This is the number of electrons we must use. I cannot use more or less. I have to use this number right here that I calculated, eight valence electrons in my structure. So that's step one. Check, we did it. Step two, draw the skeletal structure. A skeletal structure is simply how you think the atoms might be next to each other. Oftentimes, but not exclusively, but the first element will be in the middle. So I would put carbon in the middle, and then I'm gonna draw four hydrogens around it. Like this, so I have four hydrogens around it, and um, the carbon's in the middle. And that's a skeletal structure, so that's step two. And again, uh, Lewis structures don't have to do a shape. I tend to do everything at 90 degree angles, but if you had some other little angle to it, it would be okay. Then step three, place a single bond between the atoms. So I would just go one, I'm just placing a single bond. Remember each single bond represents us uh, two electrons. I did that. Use any remain, then step four, use any remaining electrons to fill octets, uh, to fill octets. Um, then A says, place them around the outside atoms first, and then B says, if any electrons are left over, place them on the central atom. Then C is, remember, hydrogen can only have a single bond. So what it's asking me to do is see if I have any remaining electrons. So I'm gonna kinda count these up, and so far I've used, I'm using a yellow pen now, I've used two, four, six, eight. So I used eight electrons. I only wanted to use eight. I have no remaining. So, if you have no remaining, meaning I uh, used two, four, six, eight, I only had eight, so I have no remaining, so I cannot add them to my outside atoms, and I don't, so I have nothing left to add. So, check, I am done. Um, so there's no remaining. Now let's look at step five to make sure. It says if the central atom does not have an octet or eight electrons, create a multiple bond. Well, here's my central atom, and I have two, four, six, eight electrons around it. So for CH4, the Lewis structure looks like Okay, so let's try another one. I want to do S, um, S, C, L, 2. I think I wanna do this one, let's see. <laughs> okay, so let's just follow the rules. So step one, add up the valence electrons. So sulfur is where oxygen is, 6A, it has six. Remember, I can look in the group number. Chlorine is a halogen, it has seven electrons, but I have two of them, so that's gonna be 14. So then I add them together, and I have six plus 14, and that is 20 electrons. So then I make step two, draw a skeletal structure. So I put sulfur in the middle, because it's first, and then I put a CL, CL. I wouldn't really have to start drawing the bonds yet. Then it says place a single bond between the atoms. Okay, single, single, good. Then it says use remaining electrons to fill the octets. So let's see, if I count up, I've only used two, four electrons and I have 20. So I have 16 remaining. So I've got to put those on. I have to use 20. Remember that number you have to use. So letter A, place around the outside atoms first. Okay, so that's two, four, six, eight. Okay, 
then two, four. Remember, when, when I'm making it so they have eight. Six, eight. So now I've used, let's see, I've used two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty. Oh my goodness. Okay, Ugh, let me recount. I'm going a little crazy with the counting here. Sorry. Okay, so let's say I've used 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So now I've used 16, but I still have 20. So I have 4 left. So then if we look at the next rule, it says if any electrons are left over, place them on the middle. And I have 4 left. I want to erase all my yellow. And so I put one, two, four. Now, what I recommend at the very end is count up all your electrons. So I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So looking at the rules, it says if the central atom does not have an octet, but mine does. This guy has eight electrons. So I'm done. I Everybody has eight electrons. I've used 20 electrons. So that my Lewis structure for SCL2 looks like that. So your objective is to take the number of valence electrons that you calculate and put them around the structure so that every atom has eight electrons, except for hydrogen, which can only have two. Now the two examples I've given so far, they only have single bonds. Well, step five right here deals with what happens, how do I know if it needs to have a double or a triple bond? So I would like to do another an example with that. Okay, so we're gonna I'm gonna do two examples on this page. The first I'm gonna do is CO2. So let's follow the steps. Add up step one. Add up valence electrons. So carbon has four. It's in group four A. Oxygen is in group six A. It has six electrons times two because there's two oxygens in my formula, and that is twelve. I add four plus 12 together and I get 16 electrons. So when I draw my structure, I can only use 16 electrons. That's why I calculate this first. That's how many electrons I can have. So now I'm gonna draw a skeletal structure. So carbon's first, so in general, unless it's hydrogen, the first, whoops, cheating. The carbon will go first, so I do that. Then place a single bond between the atoms. Single, single. Now some of you, as you may get this, you may start seeing and think, oh, I can do it a little shorter. Lewis structures are really like puzzles. And at the end of the puzzle, you want, uh, in this class in particular, you want the atoms to have octets, and you can only use the number of electrons that you have um, based on the valence electron. So you might find shortcuts. I'm just doing it this long way. Um, because I know even when you get to exceptions, this way works. So single bond, sorry. Step four, use remaining electrons to fill the octets. So I've only used two, four electrons, and I can have up to 16, so I have 12 more. So I write one, I put them on my outside. So that gives oxygen eight, and then the other side, that gives oxygen eight. So counting, I've used two, four, six, eight, oxygen's happy, 10, 12, 14, 16, the other oxygen's happy. Um, so I've used 16. So when I look at it, I've used all my elect I've used all my electrons. I can't use, I can't put any more electrons on. But now I'm tr in trouble. So I place the electrons around the outside, but there were no electrons left over. So now I go to step five. I look at the central atom. Does the central atom have eight? I'm talking about carbon right here. Well, it doesn't, does it? It only has two, four. Okay, so this is what I do. Now I know I have to have a double bond. If, if your central atom, if you've used up all your electrons, we use 16, 
And your central atom, once you made the outside ones happy, your central atom does not have eight. And when I say happy, I mean it has eight electrons. Then what it says is you create a multiple bond. It could be double or triple by taking one of the lone pairs and making it into a shared pair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay, oxygen, and it doesn't matter which one I take, you cannot have three lone pairs. I'm gonna erase one of them. Let me put, put him back how he was. And instead of being a lone pair, I'm gonna make you share it. Now count around oxygen. Oxygen has two, four, six, eight. So by moving that electron, it didn't know. But now when I look at carbon, it has two, four, six. So I made it have more. But is it enough? And the answer is no. And so I have to, <coughs> excuse me, I have to do it, I have to do another one. I have to take another lone pair. Now here I could take one on the same side that I just did, but it makes more sense to me to take one off the other oxygen and it wouldn't matter which lone pair I used and so I took that one off and I make it a double bond so now when I count let's count the total pairs 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 so I've still only used 16 electrons good that's all I have up here now let's count how if everybody has 8 so oxygen has 2 4 six, eight, happy. Carbon has two, four, six, eight, happy. The second oxygen has two, four, six, eight, happy. So now my structure, which if I redraw it so it's not so scribbly, my Lewis structure for carbon dioxide looks like this. So I've made a structure using 16 electrons where each atom has eight. So let's try another one. Let's try HCN. Now this one always throws people for a loop on the skeletal structure. Hydrogen can't be in the middle. So the, our skeletal structure, which I know is step two, is just gonna be just like it's written. So carbon's gonna be in the middle. Now let's add up our valence electrons. That's step one. Here, I'll erase. Oops, <laughs> I didn't mean to scribble. Erase. Okay. So we did, uh, let's do, st I already did step two. I drew the skeletal structure. Now let's do step one. Hydrogen is in group 1A. It has one ele valence electron. Carbon is in group 4A. It has four. And nitrogen is in group 5A. It has five. And when I add these all up, I get 10 electrons. So 10 electrons is the number that I'll be working with for this. So step three just says place single bonds. Did it. Step four says use any remaining to fill the octet. So right now, if I look at it, I've used two, four electrons. So if I look up here, I still have six more. So what it says is, is go to the outside ones and make sure they have eight. So hydrogen's good because hydrogen only wants a single bond. Remember right here. Um, but nitrogen only has two, so I'll say four, six, eight. Okay, so let's see how many I used. I used two, four, six, eight, ten electrons. Well, ten electrons is all that I have. So I have to stop adding electrons. But then, so I did step A, but letter B, it says if any electrons are left over. Well, they're not. I use 10 electrons. So now I go to step five and I look at the central atom. Does the central atom have eight? And I see carbon only has two, four. Okay, it does not have eight. So if it doesn't have eight, it means I have to create a multiple bond. And how I do it is by taking a lone pair. So get my eraser out. I'm going to erase a, a lone pair from nitrogen. It does not matter which one I do. And I erase one and I put it in between. So now I have this is a bond, this is a bond, and this is a bond. Nitrogen still thinks it has eight electrons around it. Count around there. That's two four, six, eight. So nitrogen doesn't care. 
But now carbon has, sees six electrons right here, right? Because it has two for each line. Well, that's still not quite enough. How many do I need to get it to? I need to get it to eight. So I'm gonna have to do it again. So I'm gonna take another one off nitrogen and make it into a triple bond. Now you might have said, well, what about hydrogen? Remember, hydrogen can only have a single bond. So now let's count up. I've used two, four, six, eight, 10 electrons. So I use 10 electrons, that's all I can use. And when I look, hydrogen is, hydrogen is happy because it has its two. Carbon is happy because it has eight. Remember, each line represents two electrons. And nitrogen is happy because it sees eight. Three, uh, single, th a triple bond, which is six, and then a lone pair. So, I completed it, and the Lewis structure for HCN would have a triple bond. So, how do you know if you have a multiple bond? Just to summarize, if you've, uh, remember, at first you put single bonds, then you satisfy, or another way to say that is make sure the outside atoms have eight, um, and you use the extra electrons. If you run out of electrons and your middle atom does not have eight, it means you must have multiple bonds. And how you create multiple bonds is by taking one of the lone pairs and moving it to a sh shared pair to the central atom. Now, if you look down here, you can see that there are exceptions to the octet rule. In this course, um, we're really working more within the octet rule and those Lewis structures. Um, the exceptions could be sometimes in the middle, they have less than eight, or sometimes in the middle, anything above the third period can have more than eight. But in this course, for the things we need to do when we talk a little bit about organic chemistry, we're gonna be really looking at things that follow the octet rule. So the very last thing in Lewis structures is something called a resonance structure. And resonance structures are just when you can draw two or maybe even more than two valid Lewis structures. Um, if you went on to take uh, chemistry one or college level, the uh, next level of chemistry, you would see that um, some resonance structures are more favorable than others. But, and sometimes you can have equal resonance structures. In this case, I'm gonna give you an example of equal resonance structures, just so you can understand what the word resonance means. So here's an example of NO3 negative. Now look here, when you have an ion, everything's, there's a charge, right? And a negative charge means an electron has been added. So when you have a negative charge, but when we count up our electrons, we're gonna add one. If you had a positive charge, then because a cation means you've lost an electron, when you added your total up, you'd subtract whatever the charge is. But let's start how we would. So in O3, remember first we do the valence electrons. So nitrogen has five, oxygen has six, but in the formula I have three of them. So that's 18. And then, so that would be 18, that's 23, 18 plus five. But don't forget, if you see one with a charge, it's a negative charge, so I have to add one more electron to it. Because that's what negative charges mean that an electron's been added. So in this example, I have 24 electrons to work with. The second step is to do the skeletal structure. So I'm gonna put in nitrogen in the middle and the three oxygens around. Now if your oxygens, if you put one on top of the nitrogen, it doesn't matter, okay? Don't worry about that. We just need nitrogen in the middle the oxygens around it. Now I'm gonna draw single bonds. That uses six electrons, and so I have uh, 18 more. So then I'm gonna complete the octet of the outside ones. So then I go two, four, six, there's eight around oxygen, eight around oxygen, and eight around oxygen. Let's count up our electrons. So I've used two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So look here, I've used all the electrons I can. Can't use any more. 
So now I go to my central atom here and I see if it has eight. If it had eight, I could stop, but nitrogen only has six. So remember, I can't just add a lone pair. Why? I'm going to ask you, I'll do it. Why can't I add a lone pair? If you said you'd already used 24 and that makes 25, you are correct. I can't do that. Well, here, let me, I want to erase the color. There we go. So if I can't add any more electrons, I've used them all up, but my central atom is not satisfied, I am going to take a lone pair off. Now, does it matter which oxygen? No, it does not. That's one of the, re the definitions of resonance. So I can erase it from this oxygen and draw a double bond here. Now, you could also erase one from this one and have a double bond here, or erase it from this one and have a double bond there. So I could have chose, chosen any three of the oxygens and they would all be correct. And that's one of the ways that when we look at resonance, that the, those are three valid and equal, in this case, Lewis structures for this arrangement.